Welcome back to Airworm Productions. Today, I'm gonna to try my hand at making a knife out of some uh, two different steels. Get a little bit of Damascus action going on. Okay, we've cut down our steel. So here's our 15 and 20, here's our 1084. This is three inches long, inch and a half wide, and eighth inch thick. We're gonna do a little bit of surface prep just to get them clean. That way when we stack them and weld them, uh, there's no impurities, no D-lambs, nothing. Okay, they're cleaned and stacked. Gonna weld them up, then it's time to forge them. Alternating layers, high carbon, high nickel. So we're welded good, stacked up. Start with eight layers. Okay, we've been pushing this little press and we got our forge belt set. So now we're gonna take it and turn it the other way, 90 degrees, and draw it out. Here's the moment of truth right here. So it's almost a full length now before we cut and restack it. A little bit more forging to go and squaring up, but it's going good. The first step is done. So we set our forge welds, hopefully successfully. Uh, so that's eight layers thick, you can't see it. So, next step is to grind this, clean it up, cut it into four pieces, and uh, stack them up and wash, rinse, and repeat. We divided it into four even spaces, which we're gonna cut and then stack up. And that'll be 32 layers, and we'll go from there. <laughs> okay, these are cut, no D lambs, so the first forge went okay. They are ground and restacked. We're gonna weld it, begin our second set. Here we go. Almost time to squish. Okay, we've done our third stack and forge weld. So we're at 128 layers, uh, just horizontal. So next part is to make this uh, look cool. So we're gonna cut ladder Damascus uh, lines. Instead of the typical horizontal lines, we're gonna cut these diagonal and see what it does once we draw it out and make it into a full blade. All right, we laddered this thing. See my imperfect cutting. <laughs> it's gonna work out great though. Here we go. Okay, so we're squishing those ladder lines in to make that one flat piece of metal. And as we're doing that, we're taking the knife and we're, we're taking the billet rather, we're starting to turn it more into a knife shape. So this next step will be on the anvil, uh, trying to get that tapered tip that you see.
Well, I learned nothing about forging. Burned the crap out of my hand. And uh, cut my Vulcan shirt on fire. Other than that, everything went fine. Alrighty, we're done forging for today. This is our shape. Uh, not quite what we were going for. I actually ran out of metal. Uh, we thought there was more than there was, but that's okay. I love it. It'll be great for a little kitchen knife, chopping up vegetables and whatnot. So uh, next time you'll see us heat treat it and grind it. Okay, we're back another day. We're gonna quench this thing. So we got the forge running, getting it hot, and get this thing up to quench temp and give her a dip. So I'm just using canola oil for this quench, which should be just fine. But I'm gonna heat up the oil a little bit. That way it isn't such a shock when I send my really hot knife into it. There goes nothing. Uh, the interesting thing about using canola oil is it smells like I'm making hash browns. It's actually not half bad. I have no idea how well you can see this, but she's pretty straight. Ain't perfect, but that's pretty straight. <laughs> All right, next off, we're gonna head to the grinder and get rid of some of the scale. Start getting this down to our blade shape. At this point in the knife making process, if you find that your knife has a little bit of a bend in it, especially if you can grind it out, do not try to bend it straight. Just grind it out. I'll tell you why. This is my dad's beautiful knife project. Look at that Damascus. He tried to straighten it. It's really hard. Just grind it out. Alrighty, after some grinding and uh, hand sanding, we got it up to 600 grit. So this is good enough to where when we uh, etch it, it'll show a nice contrast between the layers. So we're gonna leave it in some uh, muriatic acid for a little while and see what it looks like. So the pattern is not what we expected, but it looks pretty cool. All right, we have her out after a night long coffee, coffee etch, coffee soak. So basically instant coffee, pretty strong in a cup and then just leave your knife in it overnight. And it makes that really dark. So now we're gonna work on our handle. We're gonna drill two holes. We're doing a full tank design on this one. So let's get drilling. Okay, the pins are through here, it's mocked up. Now to put some shape on this handle. All right, two-part epoxy is in. We got her clamped up. Uh, let it dry up a little bit, get some handle shaping. Okay, so we put our profile on our handle. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna char this handle to make it nice and dark. So, uh, bam. There it is. We're gonna put some blow on it, give it an edge, she's done. So the knife is complete. This is my first real attempt at Damascus and it turned out okay, but there are quite a few flaws in this thing. Uh, to start with, we forged it a little too thin. There's some forged scales, some hammer marks that didn't quite make it all the way out. Uh, we lost our pattern in the Damascus. We were going for ladder pattern at a diagonal, but we didn't quite get it. Like I said, just forged it a bit too thin, grounded a bit too thin. That's okay. 
Ah, uh, the handle's not perfect. I mean, none of it's perfect, really, but I'll take it for a first attempt, and I'm very excited to attempt it again. If you enjoyed this build, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing to watch our future projects. Thanks again.